Hey guys, it's Rob Seepak with Paperless X. In today's video, we'll be solving an iPad Windows note-taking workflow challenge. A few months back, we asked you guys to share your workflow challenges with us. We got 14 responses, which ought to keep us busy for a year or so. Paperless X has reviewed plenty of apps in the last couple of years. We're always trying to introduce new applications as much as we can to give you guys a wider variety of digital tools to choose from. However, we have learned that picking the right digital tools seems to be even more difficult than knowing how to use them. Our team has been working with professionals and teams to design digital workflows for their needs. If you're having trouble with your digital workflow, you can get in touch with us on our different social media accounts or email us. So today's challenge is from Bicycle Man, an undergraduate computer science student. His workflow involves reading research papers and books and he takes handwritten notes in notability. His notes have a lot of mathematical stuff. That is why he prefers to handwrite them. He also uses notability for his planning using the time block system by Carl Newport. For his PDF annotation and PDF reading, he has to use good notes because notability doesn't have a contents page and that's a feature that he needs. Bicycle Man has challenged us to find a system for him that allows him to sync his calendar and PDFs with his Windows computer. Uncle Dan and I each had to come up with solutions for this challenge. My approach was to read and understand the method by Carl Newport to appreciate what it is and why he's doing it in notability. Hey guys, so I went straight to trying different apps to replace notability and good notes in his workflow. When you have a Windows PC in your workflow, you certainly can't be using Notability or GoodNotes because they are limited to the Apple ecosystem. Definitely, if you have a Windows laptop and an iPad, you can't be using applications that are limited to only the iPad and the Mac. Since Bicycle Man is a student, I looked for something affordable, which eliminated subscriptions and expensive one-time purchases. To sync across different operating systems, Adobe Acrobat might be a solution for him. It's available for free on the iPad and Windows. The Adobe Document Cloud is free storage across different devices. It works the same way iCloud syncing does. So, all your devices will have the same documents as long as you sync them. To sync your documents in Adobe, you have to save to Document Cloud to upload them to Adobe Document Cloud. There is no fast way to move all your notability documents to Adobe Acrobat. You have to export your document as a PDF to Acrobat. Then save it to Document Cloud. It will only work for those documents you would like to interact with on your Windows PC. Acrobat lacks handwriting capabilities that Notability has, so it definitely won't replace it. But you'll be able to access your calendar and make changes to it on any device. So for your calendar, you have to use Adobe, not Notability. You'll continue taking your notes in Notability, but just your calendar, because you want that on other devices, you'll have to use a different application for that. Now for the issue of reading other notes that are in your Notability. Uncle Dan, what solution did you have for that? Um, you can create a link. which you can save to a Get Things Done app that's available on all devices. You can add this link to Microsoft To Do, Google Task, or Google Calendar. That is actually a smart setup, Uncle Dan. A link that you have access to on different devices will certainly fix that problem. All you have to do is update any changes you make on your iPad and update in real time.
The limitations with this are that you can't edit your notes on Windows and you can only do this with 10 documents at a time. It will probably be difficult to remember which notes you're sharing, so your to-do list must have all the details to make that easier to track. You really need to be organized with your to-do so you know which documents you can view on your Windows PC. Another limitation is that Notability can only share links for documents that are less than 100 megabytes. So that is something that's going to come and bite you <laughs> a little if you have long notes and big documents in your application. Yeah, for that, here we have to use the Acrobat method, unfortunately. Notability tends to create quite small documents. If you don't have a lot of images, if you don't have any scans in your documents, Notability will create relatively small documents from your handwritten notes. Chances are if it's just handwritten, they won't be too big and you can have loads of pages in one notebook. Acrobat is a better PDF reader than GoodNotes will ever be. That's not to say that it is the right PDF reader Bicycle Man needs. Handwritten annotation in Acrobat is not as good as it is in GoodNotes. That is something here we have to get used to. Yeah, we're not really sure how his PDF reading uh, method is, but definitely if you've been using GoodNotes, when you switch to Adobe Acrobat, you are going to feel that, you know, Adobe is not going to create um, handwritten notes that are as good. We recently did a full review of the free version of Adobe Acrobat. Make sure to check out that to get the most out of this workflow. Acrobat Reader has a contents page, which seems to be the only reason he chose to use GoodNotes for PDF reading. You can export multiple PDFs out of GoodNotes. Make sure to include the page background, include annotations, and the PDF must be editable to export its active hyperlinks. Once it opens in Adobe, save it to the document cloud and your PDFs will be ready to work on, on your Windows PC. It seemed the most fitting for a student who is probably on a budget. It's free and ready for implementation right away. We did come up with another pro workflow which will be available on Vimeo for our patrons in the coming weeks. Pro workflows are better, simpler, and use fewer applications because they take more time to design. If you'd like to see this workflow, make sure you join our Patreon page to know when that video is ready. We hope this video simplifies Bicycle Man's workflow. Since this is his challenge, we'll give him access to the Pro workflow solution for free. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.